everyone, PNG's Fabricare brand Ariel has launched the seventh edition of Share the Load campaign called Home Team. To tell us more about this, on the sidelines of the campaign launched, we are joined in by Mukta Maheshwari of PNG India. She is speaking to us about the journey of Share the Load campaign so far, her taking charge as the CMO of PNG India, their key priorities and media investments for 2024 and much more. Mukta, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Thank you, Shivani. Mukta, uh, let's just begin with the Share the Load campaign, Home Team this time. Tell us more on how did you arrive upon the concept and how did you, uh, you know, come up with this story or this narrative this time round? Yeah, Shivani, you know, stranger to what Ariel stands for, right? Our mission as a brand, our vision as a brand is to drive equality at home. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the journey we started nine years ago with the first Share the Load campaign. Um, you've, you've been part of the journey, you've seen the journey through. It started All the with, campaigns. Yeah. <laughs> it started with asking the question, basic question, should laundry only be a woman's job? Woman's job, job that's yeah, right. That's so um, the important thing, if you want to continue to represent the voice of uh, consumer and if you want to drive the society shift is for you to be aware of what the conversation in the society is happening. Um, I, I, I will share a data point. Um, about nine years ago when we started the campaign, 75% of men would believe that laundry was only a woman's job. Only 25% of them today believe that laundry is only a woman's job. Great progress, right? But is that enough? Um, Still, women do not feel the equality at home. Um, I think 79% of the women still call back and check with their partners when they're away on how things are happening at home or to be able to guide them. So that, that, that means there's something left to be done. Um, while the physical load, we've seen great progress in the mindset on sharing the physical load. Um, as as the world uh, evolves, or India evolves, um, today we have 25% women in the workforce. And that percentage is growing by 8%. Each day. Yeah. And um, if women truly, truly have to contribute and make a significant impact in the world outside the home, they need to feel confident that their home is fully protect or fully covered when they are away. Um, so we shifted this year's focus to focus on the mental load that women carry while the physical load is being taken care of. They're still running that list which runs into pages and pages uh, into what needs to be done at home. The intent is to drive shared responsibility. The intent is to drive uh, ownership, equal partnership. Uh, the conversation we are having, right? At work, collectively as a team, we end up achieving things way beyond our imagination. Why don't we bring that concept home? Yeah. The home is a much better, stronger family when we operate as one team. That's right, that's right. And Mukta, this is incidentally also your first share the load after taking charge. Uh, tell us more, how do you look at this entire journey, you know, over the nine years of this share the load campaign? It's an absolutely amazing love mark for PNG India, uh, recognized world over, uh, not just within PNG, uh, globally as one of the most sustained um, cause campaigns. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason why it has stood this test of time and why everyone touching this is so passionate about it um, and this is unwavering because it is rooted in what truly the brand stands for. Mm -hmm. The functional job that the brand stands for is superior cleaning and convenience no matter what. It does not matter who does the laundry, Ariel will give impeccable results. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's what the brand functionally stands for. Emotionally, what the brand stands for is driving equality at home. And that's not changed. And hence the campaign is not changed. It is, it is amazing to be part of this movement and to try to move that voice forward, mm. to evolve us as a brand, to mm. drive that conversation in the society, to try and undo so many unconscious biases, mm. which um, very difficult to otherwise turn around, mm. but for constant conversation around. Mm. So this purpose, this belief for us is not seasonal or once in a while. It is something we truly believe as a brand. Mm. Um, for us, it's not an afterthought. Mm. It, is, it is really what the brand is. Mm. Um, the, the intent is every year when we look at our journey, we, uh, we do have something called deep listening, mm. which we with the BBDO team uh, try and 
understand the conversations, uh, conversations happening around uh, this particular concept, what do the world statistics, Indian statistics uh, say about and then come to a place of what the hidden truth is. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure as a working professional, um, Shivani, you will agree, like I, I to me personally, mm -hmm. this is, um, this is so close to my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm really living a share the load life. Uh, I have just moved from Singapore and it's just me who's moved. Yeah. My family is still in Singapore. I have two very young children. Uh, I would never in my dreams have taken this leap if I didn't feel, if my husband did not inspire the confidence that my home team is one solid team. Wow. Um, so I, I just feel very, very strongly about this. Now, now having said that, you know, we have seen some purpose-led iconic campaigns, you know, uh, from PNG over the past many years that discuss gender roles, address uh, gender stereotypes, so whether it is, of course, the share the load uh, campaign. Then uh, there is a whisper, keep girls in school campaign. Uh, being a woman now in charge of marketing, how do you intend to take these initiatives forward, going forward? Again, um these uh, these values, shared values with the consumers that uh, PNG brands stand for, have been um, the PNG brands have been working on it through years, mm -hmm. and it is not just about creating a film. Let's you touched upon um, Keep Girls in School mm -hmm. on Whisper, that's the Whisper flagship program, and it's, it's so much more beyond um, just the film. Mm -hmm. uh, Whisper is uh, Whisper pa participates in uh, period education in school. Um, and not now, I, I, I recall my young sister, uh, she benefited from being part of the whisper keeping, the whisper education, I mean, I, we were young, we didn't know that that's, there is a mammoth exercise that goes behind getting that education to us, but uh, so many young girls learn and benefit from the right period education, what to expect, um, if we can in our little way help um, Preventing the dip in confidence that young girls have at puberty. Um, I think the school outreach program is one great example from Whisper where we do that. We work with um, government agencies in a, in a lot of cases to um, to influence what level of education should be involved. So there is a lot more work that goes beyond just uh, just a film, right? Um, and um, we 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 run programs where we donate pads. Um, to girls who are underprivileged. So a full program, Shivani, is we walk the talk when it yeah. comes to supporting these causes. Purpose has been a hot topic for almost every FMCG mm -hmm. brand. And you know, everyone, every single brand out there wants to articulate their social cause in front of the consumer. Uh, why not simply make a sale? Why attach a social cause, uh, you know, to the product? Why is it so important? I think the difference between a, pra a product and a brand hmm. is a brand has a persona, hmm. a brand has fundamental beliefs. Hmm. Um, and I'll take the example of Ariel. Uh, the fundamental belief that Ariel has is we will make the best products hmm. which will help give the best laundry results no matter what the condition is, no matter who does the laundry. Hmm. That is what we truly believe as, uh, as a brand to make the product. The, uh, the emotional aspect of the brand is the brand is a partner for women's progress. Mm. The brand is, the brand uh, truly believes that if women progress, uh, societies progress. The brand believes that women are the backbone of society. And we, we have taken the, we are committed to being part of that progress in our little way. Mm. So it, it does not come it is not a forced purpose. Mm. Uh, it truly, because the brand is that, mm. uh, that's the fundamental belief of the brand to drive gender equality at home so that women can progress, so the societies can progress. Mm. Um, I think to, to the question uh, you're asking, why, why attach a purpose to any brand? Today, consumers do demand more from their brands. Mm. Uh, they're, as I said, they're buying brands. They want you to stand for something. And um, brands as big as ours, uh, we should definitely use our voice to drive change, change for the better.
Well, this conversation will continue for now. It is time for a short break. You don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome back. In a special chat, we are catching up with PNG India's Mukta Maheshwari. Mukta, you're returning to India after many years, uh, you know, having worked in the region. What are some of the similarities and differences that you see in India market as compared to some of the markets, you know, other markets in APAC? First, I'm, I am, I was telling you, I, I'm, I've been out of India 17 years, but uh, I couldn't be more excited to be here. Uh, if there is a time to be in India, if there is a time to be part of the India growth story, it it's is now. now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and if it if there is a time to be um, to be a marketer and be India, it's now. It is one of the most complex marketing ecosystems um, with the number of touch points and the digital affluency uh, mm. step up that India has made. So very very excited about uh, being here. Um, if I look at a fabric care world, right, um, while on the surface the needs are very similar across the region, consumers do want superior cleaning, um, but there are nu nuances or differences. For example, um, the kind of products that you design truly depends on the context in which your consumers are washing the laundry, the kind of stains that you get, um, the kind of wash process. For example, in a market like Thailand, where uh, machine is about 60-70% of what consumers use. The, what you design will be very different from what you design in India. Um, I think one of the great progress uh, or one of the great successes we have in India is the launch of aerial liquids, which truly is walking with the times as more and more women go into the workforce, um, their uh, choices change, the wardrobes change, the demand on the time changes, mm -hmm. and uh, and hence you need a slightly different product to solve for that. Women or houses, homes, more and more are looking to delegate the job of laundry, mm -hmm. and uh, um, Aerial Liquids is poised to do that by giving superior cleaning uh, in a washing machine context. Mm -hmm. or, so, and hence, de depending on what the context of the consumer is, the product design changes. Um, and that's that's the difference that I see across uh, markets. One of the other things that I see in India is um, the media mix. Um, I think India um, India has stepped stepped up on uh, digital media, mm. digital payments, um, which I think the digital pay payments part of it have not seen uh, as rapid mm. uh, as in India, mm. and that gives so many consumers access to brands like ours. Mm. Um, digital payments combined with uh, digital fluency. Mm. Um, a lot of households which would have taken 20, 30, 40 years to afford a television. Mm. Today we are able to reach them with a brand message because they are connected through the digital network. Mm. That, that's an amazing place for a marketer to be. Um, so I see, I see that growth. I see the excitement um, in India. I see uh, the desire for consumers to want more from their products, more from their brands. Uh, we see primary school, um, uh, we see um, private school enrollment going up significantly in India. Mm -hmm. um, as I was mentioning on the stage earlier, to our mother, uh, how good his, her kid's uniform is, mm -hmm. is a universal, universal scorecard. That's one thing common I see across the region. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they demand more and more from their yeah. uh, laundry products. So, so again, I think uh, the demands are changing, the needs are changing. Consumers are becoming more and more discerning um, on products. It's, it's no more about just the cheapest product available. It's really truly true value. Sure. Do you give me performance that is worth your price? Yeah, also premiumization. We have seen a lot of premiumization, uh, you know, and liquids, I believe, is yeah. a part of that premiumization drive from yeah. PNG. Uh, tell us more, what else do, will we see, uh, you know, in this particular uh, premium category from uh, PNG and Ariel going forward? So I think um, um, the journey in PNG always starts with uh, clearly understanding hmm. uh, what the consumer problem to be solved. Hmm. Um, and uh, everything else flows from there. Mm. I think um, 
depending on what liquids came as a birth of consumers wanting to delegate more and more jobs mm -hmm. to the machine and to not a semi-auto machine but a fully auto machine. Mm -hmm. In that context, uh, a liquid design lends itself to much better performance. Mm -hmm. So, it really depends on how the consumer needs are shifting, mm -hmm. um, whether premium or not truly is an output of are we delighting consumer in every load possible mm -hmm. and what is, what is the, everything else flows from there and to be able to deliver the delight, mm -hmm. what price does that come mm -hmm. and if that comes at a premium, so be. As one of the largest FMCG players in the country, uh, we have seen how PNG has some of the most legacy brands under its umbrella right now. Uh, tell us more, how do you, you know, like uh, lead a legacy brand and make it relevant for the future or the consumer, the newer consumer of today? Um, again, Shivani, it all goes back to is the consumer need changing? And if the need is changing, the product design will change. I think that's the product uh, part of it. Hmm. In terms of um, the second aspect is what do you as a brand stand for? And do you stand for the common, mo most important value system that mm. your target audience also uh, resonates with? Mm. So, um, I think where, while we'll make changes in how we talk a cause, mm. but for example, the cause like uh, Ariel's gender equ equality at home, that has been, uh, has been a gap mm. and continues to be a gap. Mm. Um, but what we're changing with time is the the language that we use, the insights that we bring to life, uh, the mediums that we go to, the portrayal in our in our films. Um, mm. Like you see, the the films, aerial films, mm. do portray um, don't don't serve two stereotypes, mm. uh, and that's a conscious choice and a change that mm. we have made. Um, so I think it's it's really a function of your, the core ethos of you don't change, but you start evolving and adapting yourself based on how the language around you changes, mm. how the consumer needs and importance on those uh, change. Sure, sure. Um, you know, uh, you, uh, I think, uh, uh, took charge as a CMO in September 2023, yeah, if I'm not correct. mistaken. Uh, give us a sneak peek on, you know, what the past couple of months have been like for you? It doesn't feel like six months. It's gone by so quick. There's never a dull day in India. <laughs> There's never a dull day in PNG India. Um, I'm also um, balancing a split family. So I think it's been rewarding to um, to see and to see PNG India and the PNG India brands mm -hmm. and the work that's happening contribute uh, to them. As what was what was your immediate mandate? Sorry to interrupt. The immediate mandate is for anyone else. We want to keep creating value for the company. We want to keep serving solutions to consumers that continue to delight them. That's that's always been. I don't. I think in PNG when we move, uh, the mandates are broadly the same. <laughs> that you need to ensure you understand the. You are the best person who needs to understand consumer needs the best, sure. so that you can serve them the best. Um, and when we do that, we know consumers reward us with uh, sales. So, so yeah, it's been exciting learning India, learning different regional nuances in India, um, learning uh, the trade in India, uh, and bringing my learning from Southeast Asia. Um, I think the whole uh, machine user piece yeah. is still relatively new in India. So I think um, that's where um, um, that's where we can do a lot more, uh, yeah, yeah. and we're doing and, a lot and, more. And young population, like every marketer in the country, is trying to crack the Gen Z code. What works with Gen Z? How do you look at that? What uh, What is your strategy to you know like uh, grab more Gen Z attention for your brands? I think it's most important for brands to be authentic, hmm. right? So um, you don't want or be Gen Z or any other audience. Um, if you're trying to be someone who you're not, mm. um, consumers are more likely than not mm. to uh, tune out. Mm. Um, in our own authentic way, um, we try and see what are the common values that we connect with, uh, with let's say Gen Z as an audience. I think uh, equality, 
uh, progress are very, very important value systems for Gen Z consumers. Uh, and hence, at, at that level, uh, share the load is one of the ways that we connect with these consumers. As these consumers come to what we call households and become the laundry households, um, they, they at least understand that we have a shared value system. Um, helping the designing products that, that ensure that laundry which in their mind is a chore is no more a chore uh, for them is another way that we make sure we deliver to the needs of this young and new consumer set. Uh, being on platforms that uh, this audience consumes more, which is again uh, ensuring uh, key opinion leaders are part of your media mix, uh, ensuring uh, we leverage digital, not just to tell, tell them what we are talking about, but also to hear from them, sure. um, what they think, what they want to uh, hear from the brand. I think it's an evolving process as their needs evolve, yeah. trying to understand them better. But yes, we are moving with them to ensure we stay connected. Sure. Um, yeah. Final question, what is your top priority going forward in uh, 2024? Uh, as I said, continues to be ensuring we understand the consumer the best. Hmm. There should be no one else who understands the consumer better than us. Because we know, I think uh, Einstein said that, that uh, if I were given a problem, I will spend 90% of the time trying to understand the problem. Because I know once I understand the problem, it does not take or I will be able to come up with a better solution. So I think uh, our intent is to understand or my intent is to understand the Indian consumer better than anyone else mm. so that we can bring the best and the most effective and the best uh, value creating solutions um, to people. Great. Thank you so much for this wonderful conversation and thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Shibani. Thank you so much. With that, it's a wrap. Goodbye.